All right, thank you, KP. Appreciate that. Getting set to go here in the Twin Cities, Nebraska and Minnesota, getting ready to go toe-to-toe here at TCF Bank Stadium. And happy to welcome in the program now a couple of former Husker black shirts and a great partnership here with the Husker Sports Network. Our friends at Truck Center Companies, Chad and Chris Kelsey, joining us here as they sponsor each and every road game, as does Truck Center Companies. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us once again. Chad, let's just start with you and uh, dive into some of the, the recognition that uh, you, you find folks at Truck Center Companies have been have been having your hard work pay off and, and nominated an award. Tell us about it. Yeah, you know what? Uh, here in uh, 2019, Truck Center Companies was named the ATD uh, Dealer of the Year, and uh, it's outstanding recognition. It's uh, recognition to the the number one top truck dealership group uh, in the country, and so uh, it it was exciting. Um, it's it's tremendous recognition, and I know uh, Trey Mitty, who is our owner, uh, from him all the way down, uh, he'll be the first one to tell you that it's it's really a team effort uh, to achieve that kind of recognition. And, uh, you know, when we look at teamwork, that's one of our four uh, core values for the company. Uh, when you look at our mission statement, our, our mission statement is to be the best truck and trailer dealer uh, in the entire country as judged by our customers, our employees, and our peers. And, you know, that, that really kind of sums up from a teamwork standpoint. It's, it's everybody's on the same page, and it doesn't matter which area of our business, if it's, you know, selling new and used trucks if it's uh, our shop and our service department uh, or if it's our parts group, you know, when you look at uh, kind of everything across the board, um, you know, teamwork, which is something that, you know, Chris and I look, we, we love about the company. I mean, the teamwork concept of, of uh, you know, coming up through sports and having an opportunity to be down there uh, playing for the Huskers. Uh, obviously, success comes from working together as a team. And so, uh, you know, that's something we do day in and day out here at Truck Center Companies. You know, when you look at our other core values, you know, the other three your integrity, excellence, and community. Um, obviously, integrity, uh, we want to go about doing things the right way each and every day, and that's a big part of how we operate. Uh, excellence speaks for itself. Um, you know, we don't talk about wanting to be the best truck dealer in the Midwest or one of the best in the country. We want to be the absolute best truck and trailer dealer in the country, and so that's how we, uh, uh, we set our goals and, and how we go about things each and every day. And then uh, finally, just as importantly, uh, you know, community involvement. Um, it's something that throughout all the locations that uh, that we're located in throughout Kansas, Nebraska, and Iowa, you know, giving back to the communities that we operate in is, is very important. We've obviously got a great relationship with uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation here in Nebraska. Uh, we've raised over $3 million to, to help them uh, grant wishes. And so it's something we're very proud of. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it, it's exciting to be named uh, Truck Dealer of the Year, that's for sure. Yeah, as you should be. Obviously, it's a, it's a great accomplishment and validation to everything that you're doing there is working. And, and Chris, to build off that teamwork aspect, I know with a growing company, you're always looking for more people to get involved. Uh, tell us a little bit about the incentives of working with such a great company. Well, like you said, yeah, we're always looking to add team members um, you know, at all our locations. Um, and uh, as we've said before, you know, Technicians are kind of the lifeblood of our of our business, and um, so we're especially uh, looking for good diesel techs. Um, and we do that. We do have a, a training facility here, a state of the art facility um, at our Omaha location, um, with three world class trainers. Um, we offer a lot to our our technicians. We have a, a TAPS program, which is a technician acceleration program, which basically um, incorporates in classroom as well as hands on. Um, you know, live training with a mentor. Um, it really just accelerates the process of getting the technician um, honed in on his skills, more knowledge, and, um, you know, just getting up to speed with, uh, you know, the older and, and more uh, experienced technicians that we have all, uh, have already employed in, in truck center companies. But we have scholarships available. Um, we got a ton of information on this on dieseltechs.com. But, yeah, always looking to add new people um, for all our locations dieseltext.com again where you can find that information and, and chad you, you you spoke to it a little bit earlier about being the the best truck and trailer dealer in the country and i know when you're adding locations you always want to keep up with with the best brands and, and the best uh selection for people when they are looking for that w what is it about the, the selection that you guys offer that makes you so proud and uh you know the, the dealers that you work with well, you know what? We represent the uh, absolute best brands in the business. And, uh, you know, a lot of people who are familiar with truck center companies know that, uh, you know, trucks is obviously a big component of what, what we do. Uh, but we've actually uh, jumped in uh, full go in trailers 
as well. We've added uh, Stoden as well as side dumper trailers to uh, our mix of products that we represent. Uh, that's in addition to obviously our, our flagship uh, brand is Freightliner. Uh, we also represent Western Star as well as Isuzu, uh, Kalmar, Ottawa uh, yard tractors, as well as uh, we're the exclusive dealer now for Thomas Built Buses in Iowa. We've represented a Thomas Built Bus for over 20 years here in Nebraska, and uh, you know now we we're the exclusive of dealer uh, in Iowa as well. So that's something we're super excited about. Uh, we continue to grow uh, kind of the breadth of, of our uh, footprint throughout the Midwest. Uh, we've got 10 locations now throughout Nebraska, Kansas, and Iowa. Uh, most recently here back in May, uh, we acquired uh, two dealerships down in southwest Kansas and Liberal as well as Dodge City. So uh, we're all about growing where it makes sense. Um, you know, back to Trey's vision is, you know, we constantly want to uh, get better and uh, where we can grow our footprint uh, and make ourselves better to ultimately uh, better serve our customers. Uh, that is, is very much on the forefront of what we w- uh, want to accomplish. Yeah, variety in brands, obviously very important for every business, but especially there, uh, as you said, to drive home the point of the of the best truck and trailer dealer in the country. And, Chris, I know uh, people probably noticed you flipped that switch over to fall rather quickly and, and r- rather soon here. It's going to be winter time, and I know that's an important time for, for drivers around to make sure you're taking care of your truck. Yeah, absolutely. You know, as Chad's talked about, uh, we're very proud of, of selling trucks, but uh, a big part of our business is, is uh, parts and service. And with the, the winter quickly coming upon us, as temperatures have, have kind of started showing their face, um, we have all sorts of uh, parts specials that can be found on our website under parts and service. But, uh, you know, winterizing your truck, you're looking at chains and any kind of diesel fuel treatments, all those additives and, and anything that you need uh, to winterize your truck uh, here at Truck Center Companies, we can give them to you so um check us out on our uh, website truckcentercompanies.com under parts and service to find all those winterizing needs chris uh, you mentioned winterization well the forecast in, in minneapolis could could anticipate some snow you, you played in buffalo what's, what's it like playing in these conditions you know what it's something that you uh um you kind of look forward to that first time and then uh if you do play in a place like buffalo uh you just get acclimated to it and you get kind of get used to it but uh you know i remember playing and i'm sure chad does too uh whenever the weather starts changing and you're starting to approach that first snow game um you get you get excited you know it does change your game plan a little bit i know the coaches it's probably a headache for them especially offensively um you know taking the making me taking the air out of the ball a little bit and, and trying to ground them uh grind them on the ground but uh yeah always looking forward to that as a player and um you know, I don't know if they're talking a lot of snow. I haven't really seen the forecast, but uh, you know, as the temperatures drop, uh, it's starting to feel a little bit more like uh, uh, football weather as we get more into the meat of our our schedule. Yeah, Chad, and you know, when this uh, coaching staff took over, we expected a, uh, the offense to move fast, a lot of points, a lot of yards. This is twice already in Coach Frost's tenure that they, they've won a nine-six game and now a thirteen-ten game, where defense has had to kind of carry the load. You know, for for a for a school that's going to be known for its offense under this regime, it has to be little nice for, to see a former black shirt see the defense carry the f- torch a few times heck yeah let's not give uh, the offense all the accolades you know what do they say <laughs> defense wins championships right but no it's uh, I think y- you look at this coaching staff and really you know I think anybody who's been part of the program uh, to be successful you have to be successful in all three phases and I, I think from a defensive standpoint uh, we always had always had the philosophy that hey if we come out and play great defense uh, we've got a chance to win every single game and you know there's going to be times where the, the offense is really humming and going to put a lot of yards and a lot of points up um, there's going to be days where, you know, that, that defense on the other side of the ball, uh, they're coached up and, and they're going out trying to compete as well. So, um, you know, defensively, I, I think if we continue to play good on that side of the ball, uh, it's going to give our offense uh, the opportunity to, you know, continue to get better, uh, but ultimately be in every game we play and, uh, you know, having that opportunity or that chance to be in the game and, and try and get a W when it's all said and done. Could be the case here tonight as well with the Minnesota Golden Gophers with the Huskers on the road here taking on P.J. Fleck and his boys. Chad and Chris Kelsey at Truck Center Companies named the ATD Dealer of the Year here in 2019. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us again here on a road game. Hopefully you could cheer us on to a victory here uh, tonight against Minnesota. Thanks a lot. Hey, Ben, it's always fun. Thanks for having us on. Go Big Red.